Hello everybody, Daz is here. As I promised you last week, I will be looking into the impact on performance between dirty and clean radiators. For those of you who didn't watch last week's video, I had this XSPC EX240 radiator that was part of my kit PC and I was retired it and um, when I disassembled the system so I can sell parts, I noticed that there was quite a bit of dust on the fins and that immediately come in to my head that this will be interesting to check what's the difference between dirty radiator and clean radiator. And also this week we're really busy at work. I was curious enough to stay after and I performed those tests um, in the course of three days because it takes time to set up the system, test it, and you need to change and all the things. So it's a little bit of work, but again, <laughs> I was curious enough to, to find out what's going on here and uh, I get some numbers for you. One thing that I have to adjust with my test bench, you probably already know, at least regulars know, that I recently changed configuration uh, with help of NVIDIA and I get a two 980s in my system in addition of water cooled CPU and motherboard. Obviously 240 radiator wouldn't able to cool the system efficiently. So what I did, I simply plugged off my GPUs. I mean one of GPUs and that reduced my system to single GPU and one CPU water cooled. Motherboard we can kind of ignore because the impact is really minimal. So that was my change with the test bench itself. Then I, I mounted uh, uh, fans back on the radiator trying to not to disturb the, all the dust I had and uh, put it right there and start running tests. To be consistent with my previous test, I decided again to, change, uh, to check about two speeds of fans, 1100 RPM and 2000 RPM. So I started with 11 in order to preserve um, all this dust in the, in the system because I was expecting that it might be um, some dust get blown out when I speed up the fans. So, so I started with 1100 RPMs. First I run CPU and I don't know what was your expectation of the change. I thought like a couple degrees or something like this. Um, some guys said that um, could be like four or five degrees. I hope you put kind of comments in previous video and and guess what you think, but most of you was a little bit too lazy to do so, so it was not real impact, but uh, I mean feedback, but nevertheless. So when I test CPU only with, uh, over, I mean stress CPU only with radiator, with um, dusty and clean after, the difference come up to about four degrees, 425 to be exact, but we, we don't really, playing uh, with difference more than one degree because it's not real lab environment. I try to be consistent, but nevertheless. So with 1100 RPM and CPU overclocked only, which is really a moderate type of output. It's not stressing system by any means. Um, the difference was uh, four degrees, which is actually a little bit more than I expected. When I kicked in and uh, put GPU under stress too, then system start hitting quite a bit more and the difference increased to whopping eight degrees, actually almost nine, eight, 20, 75, that was exact number. So it's almost nine degrees difference between dirty and clean radiator, which was much more than I would expect. I, I honestly, I didn't thought it will be more than five degrees, but almost nine, it's actually makes the case against, uh, running your computer dirty. So if you want a little bit better performance, sometimes you need to vacuum it. Uh, my solution also, I don't like to clean my PC too much. So I just simply try to avoid high density radiators because they act as a filter. So if you don't mind to do cleaning, so it doesn't matter, just do that. If you don't like to do such, do such tasks, I recommend to use um, a lower FPI radiators in your system that wouldn't be clogging like this. Because I have quite a few computers at home and I never had so much dust in any of my radiators because I always using really low FPI uh, type of models. And um, you have some dust on, on, on fans, but I never had any junk like this. Uh, we saw it on this radiator on my other models, which is like nine FPI, I have some 12 FPI and um, I have like 15, which is in the middle, but those ones, it's almost 20 and um, that's what happened. So quite a bit of the change. After that, I speed up my fans a little bit faster. 
Uh, and when I put 2000 RPMs on, on, a, on a, through my, through my um, controller, actually I have like big cloud of dust exploded through rod, so I quite a bit of disturbed whatever the garbage was stuck here because originally fans was working on 1850 RPMs, so, I, so it was a little bit more plus because I was moving radiator constantly and shaking it so I guess that uh, the gas, uh, dust get disturbed and so some portion of it just disappeared uh, with a part two of the test but the result nevertheless that I get with the 2000 rpm speed the difference between for CPU uh, uh, stressing only the difference was uh, 2.5 degrees, so about 2 degrees, not that much. And uh, for the GPU and CPU, the difference was 4.5 degrees. So you see the gap was a little bit smaller uh, comparing with a low speed configuration. I partially attributed to the fact that it was less garbage in the radiator when I run it on the faster fans but also I think that faster fans are obviously also compensated so it's um, that's why the delta went down so if you run faster system maybe um, dust impact not as critical if you are running silent system with very slow fans then it actually became a big impact on your system so keep that in mind you those guys who run Turbo props in your systems, you probably don't even care what's going on, or you care only to a certain degree. And if you run silent system, I strictly recommend you to clean your system as the first thing. Second, try to avoid high density radiator, and that will give you better uh, long performance output in the long run. Okay, guys, I hope you find the information helpful. It definitely answer my own questions about the system and uh, I will come back with more videos and um, at the next one I was going to test this high density FPI radiator with um, medium density uh, radiator from Darkside LP. LP is about 16 FPI's and this one um, like almost 20 so it's less dense radiator it's clogging less uh, but we will test both in a clean condition and we'll see if high density radiator it really buys you so much performance as some manufacturer like to claim and it will be interesting uh, answer as well okay guys i see you soon with the more stuff